Today is the start of a new series of videos that we're making to share and promote all of the awesome games from the devs in the Ask Game Dev community. You might remember our yearly community game member showcases. We love making those videos and we especially love pouring through everyone's games. Well, it's come to the point for us now where we have just too many games to showcase. That's why we thought it would be a great idea to move to a monthly format and dedicate one day a month where we showcase the best, brightest, most intriguing, and most creative games from the community. We are Ask Game Dev, and these are the Ask Game Dev Community Games of the Month for October 2020. Welcome back. We make videos on how to elevate your game development and inspire others. If after watching this video you want to continue the game dev conversation, check the video description for a link to our Discord server. We're now making fresh Ask Game Dev content on all major social networks, so be sure to check us out there too. Before we get into the games, let's talk about how it works and how you can get your game featured. The first thing you'll need to do is join our Discord server. On the first of every month, we put a call out for game submissions. From there, you have 15 days to submit your game. Once the submission period is over, the AG team spends some time reviewing and deliberating on each and every title submitted, until we can narrow it down to a final five. From there, we open up voting, and it's up to the community to vote on their favorite. At the end of the month, we crown a winner, and the cycle starts all over again. With that, let's kick off the list with the first ever Ask Game Dev Community Member Game of the Month winner, Story Arcana submitted by Rory Mitchell. Story Arcana is a top-down 2D open-world RPG that takes place in a wizard school. The gameplay focuses on mystery-solving, exploration, and puzzles, and features an intricate spellcasting combat system. You play as Clay Quilt, an ordinary boy who is transported to a magical realm and subsequently enrolled into a year of wizardry studies as part of an exchange program. Story Arcana stood out to us because of its interesting theme, charming artwork, and music. The gameplay trailer was packed with so many interesting moments and places like the train station, the forest, and what looks like a pretty exciting Quidditch pitch. The title started out as a solo development project by Rory Mitchell. With a background working in the MMORPG space, Rory decided to take a break from online game development so that he could focus on creating a single-player game. Inspired by games like CrossCode, Undertale, Stardew Valley, Breath of the Wild, and Magicka, Rory set out to create an immersive, large, open world. The team has grown over the past few months with four members plus freelancers. Contributors include composer Christoph Jacob, aka Disomicron, and illustrator slash concept artist Pina. Overall, the game has been in development for just under two years, and the team is using Construct 3. Congrats again to the Story Arcana team. The game is scheduled to release in 2021 on Steam and Itch. Everyone, please make sure to wishlist the title on Steam. We'll leave a link in the description. Before we get to the rest of the games that made it to the final five, let's look at some honorable mentions that almost made the list. Dark Arda, a Broken Hearts Quest, an award-winning hidden object game. Draco Roker, Dust of the Dragon, a classical fantasy RPG. Mecha Shooter, a platformer shooter inspired by games like Mega Man, Shovel Knight, Super Mario Bros., Celeste, and more. Pinwall, a pinball endless scroller. and Viking Vengeance, a narrative-driven roguelite dungeon crawler. And now, let's look at the rest of the final five. The Life of Mr. Pips by Snooty. The Life of Mr. Pips is an adorable 3D platforming adventure where you play as a strawberry, trying to find his place in life while traversing a vibrant, fruitful world. The title caught our attention because of its cute character design, including the lovable titular character, the anthropomorphic strawberry, Mr. Pips. The title was made in Unity by Snooty, a husband and wife team who have been in business since 2012. When the team first started in game development, they spent two years working on a title. 
In the end, they weren't able to finish their game because of endless feature creep and lack of marketing, leading them to step away from games for a while. After five years in web development, in 2019 the team decided to get back into game development, and thus the life of Mr. Pips was born. They decided that this time around, they would share their entire process with the community. If you'd like to learn more about the team, make sure to check out their YouTube and Twitch channels where they share their game development live. The Life of Mr. Pips is available now on Itch. This next title you might remember from our Godot showcase. Hive Time by J. Bush Productions. Hive Time is a bee-themed management slash base building sim. Harvest resources, grow your hive, and produce a new queen before the current one dies. It's charming, colorful, and quirky, and underneath all of that lies a solid sim game. The concept of the game was conceived by partners John and Mim during a 10-day game jam. They wanted to create something that explored indirect control over the diversity of generational populations presented in the form of a cute bee-themed game. As far as development philosophy, John, who started making games as far back as the late 80s, went with do as much with as little as possible. With that philosophy in mind, he was able to optimize workflows and pull the game together in a relatively short period of time. By keeping the game in a playable and robust state for testers throughout most of development, he found it easier to make quick, solid decisions on what was working and what wasn't. It worked. Seven months after the jam, the full title was released. Influences for Hive Time include SimCity, Space Space, DF9, Dune 2, Flotilla, and Massive Chalice. The team wanted to evoke the play as long as you're having fun feel of the original SimCity, as well as the watching weird characters live their weird lives feel of Space Space DF9. Hive Time is available on Itch under a pay what you want model with a recommended price of 10 bucks. If you want to learn more about Hive Time's inspiration and influences, check out John's devlog. Next on our list of finalists is Project Common by solo developer Omega Mech Animations. Project Common is a 3D hack and slash game inspired by Japanese superheroes, anime, and monster films, specifically properties like Kamen Rider, Power Rangers, Godzilla, Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto. The dev behind the title stated that he really wanted to make a game that was just a giant celebration of all the crazy shows he loved and grew up with, and we think he succeeded. Project Common has only been in development for six months and already looks super promising. It's got intense action, a cool neon aesthetic, and more than a few interesting characters. We chose it because the action scenes reminded us of all the crazy shows we loved growing up, mixed with the over-the-top action of games like Devil May Cry. Project Common is being developed in Unreal Engine and has no release date yet. To keep up to date with development, follow Omega Mech Animations on YouTube. And last, but definitely not least, Last Days of Lazarus by Darkania Works. Believe it or not, this is another solo developed title, as Darkania Works is a Romania-based one-person outfit. Last Days of Lazarus is an atmospheric first-person adventure game that takes place in a post-Soviet Eastern Europe. Set in 1999, after their mother's suicide, Lazarus returns home to his sister, Ludmilla but unexplained events make the world and even reality collapse around him. Looming death, a spreading malediction, and the supernatural threaten his sanity. Yet Lazarus pushes forward to find the truth about his family. We picked Last Days of Lazarus to be in our top five because of its stunning visuals. The game is just as eerie and dreadful as it is beautiful and meticulously detailed. George Remus, the solo dev behind Darkania Works, has been working on the title in Unreal Engine for 16 months, and by his estimates, it is 60% done. His previous work in game development includes working as an artist, writer, and game designer for the title Grey Dawn. Launched in 2018, the title currently has a very positive rating on Steam. George's projects have always tackled subjects as death, suffering, politics, and spirituality. Since he was a child, he loved writing dark stories and making short experimental horror movies inspired by the places where he lived. In fact, the setting of the game is inspired by the Romanian idyllic countryside, infused with exotic, mystical elements. 
Last Days of Lazarus is set to release in early 2021 on PC, Xbox, and Switch. Wishlist the game on Steam today. Thanks for watching. For more Ask Game Dev, check out our previous community showcases or this playlist on solo development.